Hey guys, it's Steph, and today we have a very exciting video that we are going to be doing today. As you can see by the title, we are going to be getting and trying the top 10 unhealthiest fast food items in America. And let me tell you, lots of these I am shocked by because I'm like, I like all of those. When we get each item, I will read you guys the calories and everything, and it is absolutely insane insane so yeah these items are all pretty good which obviously that I feel like the most yummy things are always the worst for you but let's just get right into the video and the first stop we are at is at Wendy's do you guys have any guess what the worst most unhealthy item at Wendy's would be I've never had it but it is called the Wendy's Dave's triple I've definitely heard of that one and I got Wendy's chicken nuggets just the other day and I tried their new ghost pepper sauce and it is so good and it was my first time having Wendy's in a while and I was like I forgot how good Wendy's chicken nuggets are we're gonna get for you hi can I get one Dave's triple just the sandwich all right and that'll be it it's gonna be 639 okay thank you 639 for Dave's triple they have Dave's single, double, and then the triple. So we got the biggest one. Let's see how big this thing is. Well, let me just say, this is so heavy. Oh my gosh. It's burning hot. I like can't even touch the bottom. Oh my gosh. All right, look at this huge burger. It smells really good. Um, it's huge. I don't know what the need for that many patties is, but some people like a lot of meat. So up here we have onions, pickles, mayo, ketchup, tomato, and lettuce. So literally everything. Almost like exactly what a Whopper has. So just this burger, not even including a meal with fries or anything, is 1,090 calories. Saturated fat, 29 grams, and fat, 66 grams. That's a lot for just one, one burger. Okay, well let's, let's try this big, bad, dangerous burger. This looks like a lot of meat. This looks like a little bit too much, but let's see. Well, that bite was just 100 calories. <laughs> okay, let's take one more. Watch. It is juicy, though. Well, honestly, it is good. It's a little bit too much meat for me. I think one patty is plenty, but to each their own <laughs> okay you guys the next item is french fries me personally i feel like i would think mcdonald's french fries would be the worst but they are skinny fries but i would have guessed mcdonald's fries to be the worst but guess what they are arby's curly fries i have not had arby's in a while hi can i get a medium curly fry yep. with ketchup anything else yeah, what are, do you guys have like a coffee drink? Uh, the Jamocha milkshake. Okay, I'll do the Jamocha coffee in a small. Which back in the day, I remember, I used to be obsessed with Arby's Curly Fries. I remember like sophomore year of high school, me and my friend like snuck out during lunch and we went and got Arby's Fries and then like made it back before lunch ended. But we left school to get Arby's Fries. Thank you. I got a little coffee drink too. Mmm, these smell good. Ooh, really good. Wow. I could go for an Arby's roast beef sandwich. I have not had that in forever. All right, you guys, so Arby's curly fries are a deep fried side dish that contains 650 calories, 77 grams of carbs, and 35 grams of fat. Ooh, that's a lot of carbs. How many carbs can you have in a day? I personally have no idea, but that seems high. Okay, let's try a curly fry. Oh yeah, those are good. It's like really juicy. And now let's put some ketchup because most people are not eating fries by itself. You're either dipping in ranch, 10 of these packets. Like it's crazy how many calories just some french fries are. But they're so good. You guys, it really all just is like balance. Like if you eat this every day, obviously horrible. But occasionally if you eat it, that's fine. Don't like have regrets about it or anything because everyone can have some bad food once in a while. I also got this coffee milkshake because why not? Let's try it. Mm. Okay guys, the next item. I love this item. Every time I go to either Outback 
or a Texas Roadhouse. I have to get it as an appetizer. I love it. And that is the Bloomin' Onion at a whopping 1,900 calories. And also it has 120 grams of carbs, 154 grams of fat, including seven grams of trans fat, which honestly, what even is that? So I don't have an Outback near me, so I went to Texas Roadhouse and the things are the exact same though. And this was only $6. And I also got rolls and a bunch of cinnamon butter. I didn't even know I was getting that. I like completely forgot you like got free bread and everything. Okay, here's the Bloomin' Onion. Which honestly, I feel like I remember it being bigger. But yeah, usually you share this with your table and that could be one other person or maybe like four people, but it's really not that big. Actually, it says the one from Texas Roadhouse is 1,970 calories. It's a little bit more. <laughs> and it comes with the Cajun horseradish sauce for dipping. Love that sauce. Okay, guys, let's let's try the Bloomin' Onion. I'm excited. I haven't had one of these in a while. Mmm, the sauce is so good, too, in the middle. Mmm. I could definitely eat this whole thing. Like, usually you're sharing it with a group, but I could definitely eat this whole thing. Like, if I was craving this, and just DoorDash this and then got the rolls and stuff, which, oh, I want that too. I could definitely eat this whole thing. You eat it so quickly because you don't just grab, like, one stick at the time. You grab, like, literally a handful and you eat it. Mm -hmm. I should probably cut myself off now. Okay, you guys, some of you may be able to tell where I'm at by the colors of this building. The next thing that is horrible for you is Popeye's chicken which I mean honestly are you surprised it's fried chicken but also fried chicken is like the greatest thing ever okay you guys we got our chicken so obviously calories and everything matters about how many pieces of chicken you get and everything but according to this list it just says that they're bad for you because they're battered and deep fried and they also contain trans fats so I feel like the typical person would not just go through and get like one or two pieces of chicken like you're gonna at least get like three or four or a bucket like and eat it with like everyone Popeyes is is good I knew this one would be on the list because it's fried chicken if you guys could guess what else would be on this list that might be coming up as well but let's have some of this drumstick it's so hot and I'm so excited because Popeyes chicken is so juicy cheers to fried chicken and once again, I feel like most people will dip their chicken in ranch, buffalo sauce, hot sauce, anything. I really like honey. So we're just gonna drip on a few more calories. <laughs> oh, that looks so good. See, this is dangerous. The other ones I could like stop myself from eating, but chicken, I could eat so much of this. Like I'm definitely finishing this like, and then also I have an air fryer now so I can warm these up later and eat that. <laughs> <laughs> so out of everything I've had so far, this is definitely the most juicy and most flavorful and like worth, worth it. Like, so far this is the best. Okay guys, we're at the next chicken place and that is KFC. Can you guys guess what it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be the bowl with mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, chicken and cheese. The famous bowl. Sorry about the rain, it just started pouring randomly. Typical Ohio thing. It was like a beautiful sunny day. So here is the famous bowl. Okay, so this bowl consists of 710 calories, 82 grams of carbs, and 31 grams of fat. It contains several potentially harmful ingredients including deep fried chicken, trans fats, and corn syrup. Is that why it tastes so good? Here is this cheesy goodness bowl. <laughs> like, look how much cheese is in this thing. Oh, it looks so good. And then the mashed potatoes are at the bottom and you can mix it all up and it gets all creamy. And I love corn. So that's why I love how corn is in this thing. Wow, have not had one of those in a long, long time. So this is just like a whole Thanksgiving heaven right here. All just in a bowl. It is a big size though. Like if you eat this whole thing, you are going to be very full. But the cornstarch and trans fats that's what makes it bad but it's really good and I love how they threw some corn in there too to make it a little healthy all right next item is a blizzard from Dairy Queen which the blizzard I always get is the Oreo cheesecake one and sometimes I'll get the extra cheesecake bites and 
it makes it like 400 more calories for just a little bit of extra cheesecake bites. So I already know Dairy Queen is bad. So the one that's on this list is a Reese's Brownie Blizzard with like the filling. I'm actually surprised there's like a line in the drive-thru right now. I feel like it's such an odd time to get Dairy Queen. Like it was nice out earlier, but now it's raining and it's four o'clock. Such an interesting time for all these people to be getting, but I guess you could be, they could be getting food, but I need to try Dairy Queen's food. Here we go, and then we'll have to dig out the middle so we can see what that looks like. Okay, whoa! Dairy Queen Reese's Brownie Blizzard Treat. Is that the small size? Consists of 1,510 calories. You know it doesn't make sense to me. I know this sounds stupid, but you know liquid calories? That just doesn't add up to me. Let's see if we can find this middle. Oh yeah, look. You can see. The peanut butter middle doesn't look like too much peanut butter though. Maybe it's really deep down here. Okay. Oh yeah. That does look good. Oh yeah, look at all that peanut butter. That is all peanut butter right there. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's so cold. I don't know why I always want to blow on cold things. I have really sensitive teeth, so like cold things, like, I can't really do it. Sometimes in this, like, so cold. Oh, that peanut butter filling. <laughs> I see. That makes it. Mmm. That peanut butter inside is so good. Yeah, you know what? I take it back. You can eat ice cream any time of the day. That was, that was good. Okay, we're at our next location. Can you guys tell what it is? It's Sonic. Well, it's like, hmm, okay, what would it be at Sonic that is so bad for you? A corn dog. I don't understand that one. I haven't read the description yet on why. We'll wait until we get the corn dog. But yeah, it said corn dog is really bad for you. And I was like, well, I don't know where else to buy a corn dog. I feel like Sonic is the only place with a corn dog. It says corn dogs contain processed meat, which has been linked to cancer and other health problems and are deep fried in processed vegetable oil. And I feel like moms always feed their kids corn dogs when they're growing up. My mom would always make me corn dogs as a kid. <laughs> I love hot dogs. But I know lots of people like corn dogs better than hot dogs. But we got some mustard and juice. Honestly, now that I'm hearing it's really fake meat, I feel like I notice a difference because I just had a hot dog like the other day. So now eating this, I feel like the meat is like so much softer. Mmm, it's good though. Comment down below where you guys prefer a hot dog or a corn dog. Corn dogs, I just feel like are so little. A hot dog, like with the bun and everything, just seems so much bigger and more filling. Like I, someone could eat this in two bites. <laughs> okay guys, the next item is a drink. And of course it's from Starbucks and it's a Frappuccino loaded with sugar and all of that. So the drink is a white chocolate mocha Frappuccino, which I definitely have had that before, but I forget what it tastes like. So let's get it, try it out. I bet it's really good. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Here it is. This drink was like almost $5 and it looks like nothing special for how bad it is for you like there's no like Hershey syrup in the cup or caramel or anything honestly you guys my stomach is starting to hurt from all the mixtures of food today okay so this drink has more than 500 calories and 64 grams of sugar that whipped cream looks so yummy though you know this one is very very sweet you can definitely tell there's lots of sugar in it it kind of tastes like candy like it's really good it is very plain. Like it almost tastes like a sugar cookie or something. Frappuccinos aren't really my thing anymore. I used to like them a long time ago, but not typically something I would order. Okay guys, the next one on the list, I have to go into the store and buy. So let's go run in the rain and go check out all the flavors of whatever this item is. Okay guys, so what is so bad? It's Pop-Tarts. I would have never guessed that because I grew up eating those too. And Everyone did like everyone will have a pop tart in their lunch box. I mean when you're a kid you eat stuff like that But I would have never thought they were that bad so many different flavors. I love the cinnamon roll one chocolate chip is good 
The brown sugar warmed up, very good. S'mores is good, honestly they're all good. Let's grab one that seems really bad for you. I was gonna do hot fudge sundae, but cinnamon rolls actually more calories. <laughs> so let's get that one. Okay, we are back and a bit wet, but we have our cinnamon roll pop tarts. So let's read why these are so bad. It says pop tarts are high in sugar and contain refined flour and unhealthy oils. They provide very little protein or fiber. So basically it's like a dessert, which like kids would eat this just for breakfast or probably still do. Oh, this smells so good. Oh, I love these. I can't believe these ones are 400 calories because like there's not even icing on the top of them. I mean, there is like the drizzle, but most of the Pop-Tarts have like the whole layer of icing. Let's see if it's as good as I remember. Yeah, it, on, it tastes like a dessert. It is really, really good. And I used to eat Pop-Tarts like every day. In high school, they would sell them in the vending machines and like I would always want a snack and I'd get a Pop-Tart. <laughs> the cinnamon roll one is so good. Hot fudge sundae used to be my other favorite, but then I started liking this one. Okay, let's go get the final 10th unhealthy food. And the final item is Cinnabon. Cinnabon is one of my faves. I love getting the center of the roll. That one is my favorite because it's just like the ooey gooey soft part of the cinnamon roll, just all in a bowl with like icing. Oh, it's so good. And before I moved, I didn't have Cinnabon anywhere near me. So I would only get it like if I was in the airport or something like that, but now I have Cinnabon all around. The one that's bad for you is the one with pecans. It is a Cinnabon Caramel Pecan Bun, and this has more than 1,000 freaking calories, and that was a horrible noise. So here it is. How does this have 1,000 calories? Like, this would be like a snack. I have never had this one from Cinnabon, though, before, but it looks good. Like, look at all the icing. Oh, it's like cut up in little bits. Oh, that's perfect. Ooh, yeah, this looks good. Mm. Yeah, so inside of here, it has these like perfect little pieces that are so coated in cinnamon glaze, cinnamon, everything, like every piece. And then it has the pecans on top. Mm. That is good. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I now have a lots of very good leftovers. Uh, dangerous though having all that in the fridge for leftovers but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I've been wanting to do this one for a while because I thought it would be really interesting and yeah I definitely learned some stuff about the food and yeah that was fun how I'm feeling right now my stomach kind of hurts but I feel fine I just need to go home and drink lots of water because I was in the car for like five hours so I didn't have much water with me and I didn't want to chug water because I didn't have many bathrooms since most of the places were drive through but yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe also click my notification bell and I will see you all next time bye guys